y'all welcome back to my channel so yeah i'm so excited about this video because i told y'all like i told y'all in one of my vlogs one of my last vlogs i told y'all that i wanted to start incorporating so much more fashion and beauty and image content so i was like okay you know what this is a perfect video so i'm about to tell you guys the fall winter trends for 2021 not gonna lie you guys i love them so make sure y'all keep on watching so we can see what's on the runway for this season so this trend is very funny because it's um it's cold outside but this trend is sheer cutouts mesh the peekaboo of the skin and y'all know me it's my vibe at all times i'm going i'm going to tie that shirt up or i'm going to put on that crop top like that's just me i love it so y'all know i'm so here for this trend i mean we're gonna be cold with like fashion fahrenheit mm, it's giving keep it cute <laughs> so valentino has so many freaking looks like valentino had them looks i loved it it was just they did what needs to be done it was one of my favorite shows like oh my gosh of, of the ones i watched so far this look right here was so cute instantly when i saw it i was just like oh my gosh i love this something about this prep cutout is just yo giving me everything when i say i love that i love this one is probably not gonna lie probably one of my favorite pieces one of from this entire valentino collection this is this net freaking kimono dangling trench coat giving it is giving i can see looks after looks after looks with this this kimono piece oh my gosh i am oh it looks more like a trench coat by the collar but it's it's amazing i am in love with it valentino also has some cutout pieces which is my number one favorite piece from this dang on collection you guys this blazer with these cutout detailings is so chic so classy like oh my goodness first of all suiting is also a trend but suiting comes in and out like all the time like i feel like we always see some type of suiting on the runway but this cutout blazer right here is everything i am so in love with this you can even dress this down like i'm telling y'all i see the looks i see a uh, all into one turtleneck all black fire hat on with some um like some boots that's like a platform but they're like they're leather and they like they're like close to your leg like very tight on your legs but the bottom is a platform. Oh my gosh, what a pop of color purse. Remember in my luxury wish list, I was telling y'all how Mugler and the Winter Trends was just on the same page. Like, oh, it was so fire. Their leggings, their spiral leggings, sheer spiral leggings is so cute. Like it literally fits with the fall Winter Trends. I don't know why there's an airplane flying over my house. But it's, it's perfect. It's sheer. The spiraling makes it give it like a little cutout vibe. It's just fire. We are, I know for a fact, we're going to see lots and lots and lots of head to toe moments like head to toe fully covered which contradictory to my previous statement i love that too i love a good head to toe moment very presidential very incognito very just oh kim did it it was gorgeous i mean even Met Gala, kim and kanye did it. it it very much so made a statement we have some looks from balmain doing the head to toe moments first of all balmain show with the airplane oh my gosh i love that it was so different it was oh because isn't that called a runway like the plane where the plane go isn't that i don't know let's not even never wanted to be a pilot never been a pilot nothing paul main has some good looks this look right here was just fire first of all i feel like we've been seeing a lot of pink on the runway for this season which y'all know i'm here for i love love pink the head to toe moments are going to be making a statement this season make sure y'all get on that I feel like that's a very easy, ready to wear, doable fashion piece, like fashion um trend. You know, sometimes the trends are not always, always doable for everyday people. But I feel like head so cat suits, like, you know, I love it. Okay, so this one is another one that's good. I mean, at this point, I love all of them, as you can tell. But monochromatic, I feel like we already do this. You know what I'm saying? We already do this, but they're doing monochromatic. They're doing very saturated colors. Kim did it. The Balmain, I just showed y'all very saturated pinks megan fox did it with this very saturated blue love her love her love this look she looks so good she looks so stunning i'm very happy to see that we like adding color into our wardrobes again because i feel like at some point everybody just became black white new gray like and i mean it was cool it had its time it had its moment ever since 2021 started not gonna lie that's when i feel like people started incorporating more color into their closets and i am just here for it because color is so fun and now we doing saturated 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 colors and it's just it's giving okay so now my favorite trend you guys my absolute favorite trend puffers 
puffer and here's the thing that i love about it it's like puffer everything puffer padded cloud ski it's just oh my gosh it's puffer overload and i am in love Miu Miu had some good ones i was just so in love Miu Miu had like almost my favorite puffers it was just heavy on the ski vibes i was super here for it i'm not a purple fan but this purple piece the padding in this is just fire i just love this it's so cute then we see this monochromatic look we see the saturated purple like the trends is just they're there okay the trends are there this look same thing in pink oh even the shoes are padded like i when i say i'm in love it's like a sick obsession with puffer padding and just oh sick obsession rick owen has some good ones of course my claire has some good ones like let's be honest here my claire has some really really good ones mark jacob even had puffer head pieces it's literally when i say it's puffer overload you guys i'm serious like it is puffer freaking overload and i am here for it off white even had puffer shoes brands have puffer bags i mean they have puffer cases like i am in love with the puffer it is all things puffer like if you don't have a puffer, just go ahead on and get one. Y'all know I showed y'all in my collective haul. I had me a puffer. Love it in sage green. Chef's kiss. It's amazing. So this next trend, I don't know, you guys. I don't know, like, how I'm really feeling about it. It's logo mania. So it's logo everything. Just, like, head to toe. Just logo. I low-key hate this scarf because it just gets on my clothes like i feel like i should just throw it away after this video logo mania so like i mean logos are cool i like a logo moment but sometimes i like a little it's not too logo ish i don't know but gucci has some nice logo pieces versace even did it mark jacobs did it like i mean it's cool that's not super super durable for the everyday people like some people can't afford to get the gucci hat jacket shoes socks t-shirt pants like you know what i'm saying so i don't know we'll have to either find our own ways to do that or just not do so of course it's winter it's fall it's autumn so of course we have knits i mean i feel like it's a winter signature so of course we have knits etro had a really really nice knit i liked it but the, but the thing about knits for this season is we're doing knits head to toe this piece from etro was really really nice i love this like i feel like this is not something i would usually be in love with so i was kind of surprised with how much i loved it but this was super cute to me yeah they're here don't have much to say about it so we move on another one that i'm kind of like mm, i don't really know how i'm feeling about it full fur you guys but i mean everything hats gloves shoes scarves jackets purses if i didn't say bags already it's full fur everything i don't know because like i'm really not a fur girl but at the same time i can see it giving a very extra moment and i'm very extra so i feel like I feel like I'm feeling it in a way. So I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about that one. But like I see, it's a very extra moment. It's not really like a everyday, very basic. No, it's a, this is very much so an extra moment. So, okay, y'all. Now on to shoes. First of all, it's boot season. So who doesn't love boots? Boots are amazing. So we have boots, very chunky, thick boots, which I feel like we already started that. So it is definitely coming into the fall, winter. Love it. We have platforms. Love it. I know my mom absolutely loves that off white off white was not planned with the boots on this dang on runway you guys i mean fire okay almost every single designer had like a chunky boot or a platform like you almost i feel like we almost didn't see any flat shoes if it was a flat shoe it was probably with some type of puffer like we really didn't i feel like we didn't see much else which is i mean it's good but i feel like that's how deep we are into the chunky boots but like i said off-white had some of oh the shoes on off white just wasn't playing first of all bella hadid looked gorgeous but this look right here these shoes oh my goodness you guys this crisp white boot platform bottom but it hugs your leg i am in love it's giving me 70 vibes and i find myself loving 70s shoes i can already see so many people wearing this like i can clearly see the outfits that are going to be surfacing instagram i already see the influence like i, I feel like i can see it in my head of what exactly they're gonna wear we need to see it because these are bomb they also have these in black oh i am so in love i feel like we've already been i don't know if y'all have been seeing but i've already been seeing people um wearing the versace satin platform heels it's really the same type of vibe off-white also had this other look you guys that i thought was so cute yes this look right here crisp well he has these in different colors on the runway with a crisp solid color boot the bottom is the pop of color that saturatedness that we talked about earlier this one has the saturated orange he has the blue he has a black shoe with the green bottom i mean virgil 
yes so the next thing i'm going to talk about you guys is gloves and i don't know if anybody knows this besides my mom of course i am a glove girl okay gloves first of all make you look so put together if you have on a good leather glove with a nice outfit when it's cold outside you look so put together i feel like leather gloves are such a high fashion classic like if you have leather gloves you probably are really into fashion but how they've been doing these gloves on the runway the exaggerated glove yes like that's one of those things that you never knew you needed that you needed and i love it prada with the prada logo pouch on the top of the the leather gloves is everything i could have ever needed gorgeous gorgeous i think they like 1100 i looked them up probably not i me probably won't spend 1100 on some gloves but also probably me would you know what i'm saying so i would i don't know if i am i 100 would spend that money on those gloves but i can't promise you that you will see those gloves on my hand this season <laughs> Okay. Off white had the puffer gloves. They had designers with the full fur gloves. They have the gloves that's coming all the way to your elbow, giving very much so princess vibes, but very much so, yeah, streetwear. Princess streetwear, because I think they had some in leather. Gloves ain't playing, not playing. Get you some. Like, I'm telling you, it will make your outfit look so much more put together when you have on gloves. It'll be like, Oh, she's into fashion. Leather glove, leather gloves to the elbow, leather glove with a pouch, puffer glove. I mean, so of course we have the bags on the runway. It's giving very much so back to business. I think that's what they're calling this trend, back to business. So we have the very much so briefcase like bags, structured, very structured bags. But we also have the bum bag. But my favorite, the fanny packs on the wrist, the wrist bags. Another thing that I didn't know I needed until I saw it. Like I was like, okay, I need that. I mean, I'm going to exercise. Of course I need the freaking wrist bags. Let's be honest, why would I not? We also are seeing chains, we're seeing compartments, but I definitely want those wrist bags. Like I need a fanny pack on my wrist. So that was the last trend that I'm gonna talk about today, guys. I can do another one on the beauty trends, hair, makeup, um, maybe we can dig more into accessories like hats or whatever. Just let me know what y'all want. Also, let me know down below, you guys. What is y'all favorite? What was y'all favorites from the fall winter trends? Y'all know mine's puffer. I mean, all of them. So I'm not even gonna go back in name. Let's come up with some outfits. Like, how we gonna make the everyday people be able to wear this? You know what I'm saying? So let's really talk about it. Also, y'all know designers are always a season ahead. So we are right here talking about fall, winter, 2021. But the spring, summer collections are already out. So let me know if y'all want me to do a video on that. Or if y'all want me to wait. I want to do it now because the looks are giving. I mean, <sighs> Chanel. Oh, oh my gosh. Let me know if y'all want me to do it now. Or if y'all want me to wait. Because it's up to y'all. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm so excited to incorporate all these type of videos into my channel. So make sure y'all tell me more of what y'all want to see. Fashion, beauty, image, all things you. Okay? And I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Bye guys!